Harvey Barnes is already pushing for England honours, but just how good can he end up being? EA Sports have given him a future stars card in this year's FIFA, and in this episode we're going to use Football Manager to fast forward through his career, see whether or not he lives up to that potential. Can he earn an icon card in the future? We will answer that question today. Here we go then. Can Harvey Barnes become the icon that some people believe that he has the potential to become? If you've enjoyed the series so far, make sure to hit the subscribe button, smash the like button. If you want to see more of this, get down in the comments section below. Let us know which of the future stars you want to see up next. Plenty more to come. And let's get right into this episode. So as you can see, Harvey Barnes is at Leicester at the start of the game. He's 22 years old, worth 28 and a half million off the bat. So he's already played a few years with Leicester and West Brom. Had quite a good career already. Um, still developing, 2019-20 was his best season. 36 appearances that year. So he's starting to get there. Plenty of room to grow in the attributes as well. So it'll be interesting to see how he gets on in the future. He hasn't yet made his international debut. He's played under-21 games, so that's one thing to keep an eye on. And obviously Leicester haven't won anything since they won the Premier League a few years back. So let's see in five years if Harvey Barnes can get into the England squad and maybe, maybe help Leicester towards some silverware. So, it's 2025. Five years into the future from where we were. Harvey Barnes is still at Leicester. You'll be surprised to see. Possibly. He hasn't played for England first team yet. He has four under 21 caps still. Valued at 42.5 million now. So he is developing nicely. Stats haven't changed dramatically on the face of it by the look of things. But in terms of actual performances, looking down here in the bottom corner, it's career stats. He's played over 200 times for Leicester already. And as you can see from the fact that 2021-22, he was playing in the championship. Leicester got relegated in 2020-2021. Relegated to the championship. They did bounce back straight away. They came up as champions. Barnes was a key part of that with 43 games, 19 goals, 7 assists. A quality, quality season from him there. And he's done well back in the Premier League as well. Seven goals, two goals, six goals, few assists mixed in. Nothing absolutely amazing, but he's doing, he's performing steadily. I'm surprised he hasn't had a look into the England squad yet. He looks a very, very good player. Leicester have been playing in Europe this year, Euro Cup 2. I think they finished something like seventh in that in the season before, so got themselves into that. He's performed well there as well. Three goals in the Euro Cup. Just an all-round very good player. Like I say, surprised to see he's not played internationally yet. Surprised, just generally surprised he's not really pushed on to a higher level. Not helped by Leicester being relegated, obviously. But those five years, you'd probably class as a bit of a disappointment for Harvey Barnes in the grand scheme of things. That one good season in the Championship and a few steady seasons since. It's going to be interesting to see how he continues to develop. Surely he's got to get that England cap at some point. But let's jump another five years into the future. He'll be 32 then, so really kind of go sort of moving through those prime years in the next period and see just how he's getting on aged 32. We've jumped forward to 2030, and the place we're going to start is on his career page. It's just sort of petered out a little bit, hasn't it? He played another season, with, well, he didn't even play a full season with Leicester. He played two games for Leicester. And then was sold, went out on loan to Watford initially for 550k. Played 28 games. It had an okay season. Three goals, four assists. Heading for that seven average rating, but not quite there. He was then sold to Watford for 40 million pounds. He got five goals, five assists. A pretty good return. 7.0 average rating for that year and the next year as well. And then his career's dropped off again. Back down at those 6.6s, 6.7s. Still playing the Premier League? Is he having injuries to be playing that little? He had an impact from a fall and was out for three months with a broken ankle. And a couple of little injuries. Nothing nothing crazy. But it's just setting him back a bit, really. Has he made any England... Into, he hasn't even made an under-21 appearance since we started this series. He's not played for the senior team. He's not cutting the mustard. This guy's career is just not getting there. I'm assuming that Watford haven't been winning anything. Looking at their recent finishes in the league. 
you can see they've finished they've finished mid table Premier League as you'd expect Watford to finish in the years that he's been there they've done okay have they won any cups or anything at all won anything they won an FA Cup before he arrived no is the answer to that they they're not really doing it their squad's very average Harvey Barnes is looking very average as well. This is a disappointing one, to be honest. He had so much potential to be a top star for England, and he's not hitting it. We're going to jump forward towards the end of his career, find out when he retires, and have a look at that last season, wherever that ends up being. Here we are then with Harvey Barnes. Now this is a disappointment. 2029-2030 was his last actual Good season. He went to Rangers for eight and a half million pounds. Could have gone up to ten and a half. He's had one season where he played four games. Two seasons he didn't even play for them. It's all gone wrong for him. His attributes are poor. They're in absolute tatters. He never made that senior appearance, and he's been released by Rangers, and he is retiring. He has retired even. I think he wants to become a coach, but I'm not certain. What a disappointing end. Four ga four games, that's it. That's all he managed, I presume, injuries. No, oh, it's not going to show us because he's retired. But what a shame. What an awful end to his career. I mean, this one is short and sweet. I can sum this one up. He is not going to get the icon card. He is nowhere near it. Get down in the comment section. Let me know if you agree. Think think this one's fairly obvious, though. He He can't have one. He's just not good enough. He never played for England. Like I say, let us know down below. We'll be back soon with another episode, another player. Let us know who you want to see. But with that said, I will see you all next time.